It doesn't matter your opinion. I just, your opinion it, it doesn't matter about school because clearly school doesn't, doesn't matter if you don't know facts. If you said that Jason Aldean's song is racist, Jason Aldean's song is talking about black people. When he didn't mention the word black, he didn't talk about black people. It wasn't even black people. It, it wasn't any black people that he specifically spoke about in his music video. I swear, it's like, People don't understand how racist they are until they start to speak. I promise you. Because the people that's like, oh, the song is racist, the song is racist. Bro, you people are automatically assuming that this is just black crimes that he's talking about. Like, I swear, like, that's the first thing that come to your mind. As soon as you hear somebody carjacking an old lady at a red light, you automatically think about a black person. <laughs> like... He said he disagreed with me. Jason, welcome to the Austin Tatum Show. All right, man. First of all, can I shout out my TikTok? Because you need to watch my videos. I talk about you a lot. <laughs> I do discuss yeah, you a lot. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah, shout out to TikTok. My videos? Right? Oh, it's Get oh, Naked. G-E-T-N-A-K. G-E-T-N-A-K-K-I-D. I know you feel bad. Man, I think you need to change. I think you need to change the TikTok name, man. Maybe you'll get some more views if you change the TikTok name. Ain't nobody want to hear no Get oh, Naked no. on the TikTok. All right, no, let's, no, let's, no, let's, no, what you got, Jason? That's the reason. That's Oh, it's what like, why do you like going at women, trans, and black people? <laughs> why do you have a problem? Like, I, I like go going. I like going at them. Give me an example. Yes, you want to attack like Sonny Houston, Sonny Houston today. <laughs> I think like Sonny, I can't uh, even who, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't understand you. Give okay, me an okay. example Sonny how I'm Houston. going at women and gays and stuff. You went at Sonny Houston. You don't mean it's like you go at the view every day. I'm not about to repeat your nonsense. <laughs> Sonny Houston is not Houston. Sonny, oh, that's Are you name. confusing Sonny Houston with Whitney Houston? <laughs> oh, okay. No, I don't care. You know, I said the girl on the view, my dude. Trust me. We was like back in elementary was she, school. What did I say? That what did I say? Let's have an intellectual conversation. What did I say okay. about her that was wrong? Okay, okay. You called her stupid before. <laughs> okay, I think she, she's she stupid. That's nothing. my opinion. <laughs> She don't know anything. Oh, no, it's not, oh. She was wrong about. It's she was wrong about Jason Aldean. She was wrong about Jason Aldean. Okay. She said that the town that he grew up in was racist and it's majority black. She has no idea what she's okay. talking about. Can I speak now? Yeah. What's, what's your next now? point? No, no, no. She is an educated black woman. Oh my God, <laughs> you flunked. They didn't. You said yourself. They just passed you through school. <laughs> they didn't care about your education. When, they didn't care about your life. They Jason, didn't care what you Jason, did. Jason, when, did, when did I say somebody yeah. just passed me through school? When did I say that? In your last, you oh, it's in a it's in a past video that you had. It's like that's why I said you need to watch my video. <laughs> like it's in a past video that you had. It's like a two, two years ago, <laughs> and you said you didn't have to go to class because you was an athlete, <laughs> and they just pushed you through school. You don't remember that? <laughs> See, that's what I do. I punish you. Nah, I don't remember. Go. I don't remember that. But go ahead. Oh, trust finish me. I'll send you a video. I'll send you. I'll clip it. I'll clip it for you. I'll clip it and send it to you. <laughs> All right, cool. I got. I got. I only got a few more minutes. Like, give me, give me some good. Like, what, what do you that's, disagree? That's not good that's, that... She's an educated black woman. You said yourself you were just pushed from school. So what qualifies you to say that she's stupid? It doesn't matter your opinion. I just, your opinion it it doesn't matter about school. school because clearly school doesn't, doesn't matter if you don't know facts. If you said that Jason Aldean's song is racist, Jason Aldean's song is talking about black people. When he didn't mention the word black, he didn't talk about black people. It wasn't even black people. It, it wasn't any black people that he specifically spoke about in his music video. This I think that's what people fail to realize because the whole video literally talking about criminals. It's talking about the things that's going on everywhere. It's not, I swear, it's like people don't understand how racist they are until they start to speak. I promise you. Because the people that's like, oh, the song is racist, the song is racist. Bro, you people are automatically assuming that this is just black crimes that he's talking about. Like, I swear, like, that's the first thing that comes to your mind. As soon as you hear somebody carjacking an old lady at a red light, you automatically think about a black person. <laughs> It's bad, it's messed up, but I promise you, I mean, I can't even be mad at y'all. I can't be mad at y'all for discriminating us black people because this is what this is what's all over the news. It's a lot of black people that's doing these crimes, but it's not only black people that's doing these crimes. You know what I'm saying? I said in my last video, which I appreciate y'all for, like, y'all went crazy on that last video. I really appreciate y'all, but I said in my last video, like, if you go call something uh, something racist, at least know the facts behind it before you call it a racist. Y'all just saying, oh, the song is racist because y'all automatically assume that, oh, he's discriminating black people. Guys, he's talking about black people, but this is proof that the liberals are the real racists. Like, this is proof. This is proof. But anyways, let's finish the video. Then she said it was about Black Lives Matter. Not one time did he post anything about Black Lives Matter. What? There was no Black Lives Matter activists in this video. And the only conflict with cops in his music video was a white girl spitting in the cop's face. 
So what does she know? Can I talk now? Can I talk Go now? Ahead. Can I talk now? The symbolism. <laughs> That's everything that Black Lives Matter did. They don't even have to be there to be somewhere. <laughs> when they people look at that music, when people look at that music video, they don't see Antifa or none of that. They think Black Lives Matter. When people like the song, the song in a small town, they know they're not black people there. And like that, y'all used to have control of black people in small towns. That's why there's the beauty of this stuff right here. <laughs> the beauty of it. Man, listen, listen, like, listen Jason, do you really believe what you're saying? Do you really believe white people worry about you right now? The man made a yes, country yeah. music song about small <laughs> towns and, and, and he alluded yeah. to crimes that are committed. Do you think that black he was talking about black people? Do I think black people talk about black people? No, no. Do you think Jason Aldean was oh. talking about black people with, in that song? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. I think Jason Aldean was talking about what happened in, in inner city. <laughs> what happened like in hoods. What happened in cities where there are millions and millions of people. <laughs> I think that's what J. Dean was talking about. Because <laughs> that's what stuff oh, like well, that black happened. people. He was, talking about, he was talking about the hoods where black people live. And he was talking about carjacking black, like, I'm just saying, I, and I robbing say, I people. About black. <laughs> I didn't say nothing about black. And she said like when she thinks black, when she thinks urban and when she thinks city, she thinks black. And that's what, how she should think. <laughs> but for your argument. Yeah, because she's an ignorant fool. Talk. Jason, Jason, thank no, you, you so much for the ignorant. call, brother. All right. Oh, it's hard to okay, let me let me just explain something real quick because I I guess also Tim Friend go on to explain it, but I want to make sure I get my point across. Okay, so first off, this whole racist black thing, bro. I I don't I just don't understand people. I the song is about a small town. I explained it, and I'm not going to continue to explain it. A small town is where everybody and their mama know each other. Okay, and all just not was saying try the things y'all trying in these huge cities. In a small town. And see how far you make it down the road. Like, that's all he's saying. That song is so catchy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I was singing it last night, bro. You know what I'm saying? I was singing the song last night. I need to add to my playlist because the song is it, song is catchy and it's hard. Okay? The hardest country song not right now. Top 10. You feel me? Top 10. I don't know any other country songs, but I'm just assuming this is, like, up there with, like, top 10. You feel me? But, um, seriously, you go, you go on this call... And you not saying anything that is logical. You're literally not saying anything that can make a person be like, oh, he's right about that one. He's right. I just feel like you was a fan. I feel like you are a fan of Officer Tatum. You just wanted to get on the call with him to say you was on the call with him because there was no facts behind anything you were saying. If you're going to talk about something, then you need to bring up the facts behind it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's always going to be facts over your feelings. Your feelings may feel some type of way. Your feelings are always going to change, but the facts will always stay the same. So... You people need to honestly look up facts before y'all just go on. And this is me personally saying that I didn't even know Jason Aldean before the song. But just a little bit of research, I could tell that this man was not racist. It, the song was not particularly about black people. I don't know why y'all get this whole this whole theory from like, oh, this song is about black people. Black people this and like, no, it was not. And, and no, it was not. I feel like, did you even listen to the song? And if you did listen to the song, did you even look at the lyrics? Did you even look at the lyrics of the song? A small town can be either black or white people in there, but bring your butt to a small town and try the things you try in Chicago and see how far you make it down the road. I... Let's see Officer Tatum uh, point of view on this. Listen to the <laughs> every five seconds. Uh, listen. <laughs> I knew I wasn't tweaking. That man was laughing every. <laughs> That's all he was doing every five seconds. But come she's an ignorant fool, call. Jason. Jason, thank no, you so you much for the call, idiot. brother. All right. Oh, it's hard to listen to the <laughs> every five seconds. Uh, listen, let me let me just say this. I, I like to bring people on that disagree with me, but I want you to I want you to kind of come with some gravitas. Uh, it's very clear that the young man stalks my page and says he listened to all my videos or whatever it case may be. It, it, it's unfortunate because you can disagree with me, but if you think Sonny Holston is is a is nothing more than a wasted uh, organism walking on planet Earth, then I, I can't help you. The woman is wrong about every take she has. She's wrong about every take she has. This fool claims that the America is so racist, yet her, her son goes to Harvard. If she was worried about the white man and systemic racism, how'd your kid get to Harvard? They skipped over your kid and got all the other black kids. Is that what you're telling me? Then the caller was calling and said she's educated. Well, then the white man jumped over her, and she got an education, but the rest of the black people can't get an education? That woman is dumber than a bag of rocks. And this is what's, this is what's wrong with people. It's called projection. When you know that you ain't nothing, and the people that you hang around ain't nothing, and you have this idea that black people ain't nothing, 
then you see black people all in that song. When he say, rob somebody at a stoplight, pull a gun on a store owner, <laughs> your mind think black people. That's so messed And you project it on Jason so Aldean. So Jason Aldean said robbing people, as if black people are the only people rob people. White people rob people at, at stoplights. White people pull guns on people at the store. White people, he got the video, in his video, a white girl was spitting in the face of a police officer. But see, ignorant folks that know they ain't about nothing, and they and they know they people ain't about nothing, they begin to project that on other people. The man is talking about criminals. He's talking about big city violence. Don't try that in a small town. And everybody like, he talking about black people. Because y'all think of black people that way. Mm. He talking, you know, even when he was talking about, they talking about sundown town. Everybody's talking about sundown town. Yeah. Jason Now Dean wasn't alive in sundown town. He just, you think he just came up with a song in 2023 to try to talk about lynching black people. Y'all ain't that important for a man to come up with a song to make it subliminally talking about black people. Black people. Let me just throw this out here. Ain't no white man got to talk about you. Y'all already talking about killing and stealing and thugging in your own music. Amen. Why do he got to talk about it when y'all talking about it? Uh, ain't nobody got to do that. White man ain't got to incarcerate black people because we killing each other going to jail. We selling dope to our brother and sister going to jail. We running from the police, fighting the cops on the side of the road going to jail. The white man ain't got to do nothing to put black people in jail. These black people that go to jail, they go to jail because they want to go to jail. They go Come to jail because their daddy ain't there. Come on now. White people ain't got to do nothing against black people. You ain't got to make a song about them. You ain't got to try to stop them from doing nothing. Y'all stopping yourself from doing stuff. A white a woman, Sonny Hostin, educated, but she's telling you you can't make it in life. The white man ain't got to do it. She doing it. And the black man that called in, he falling for it. Show somebody explain to me where the white man is in this equation. Sonny Hostin telling you the world's racist, you ain't never beat nothing. Then the black man is get calling on my show, telling you ain't never gonna beat nothing, and the, the world is racist. And that white man ain't yet called in on my show, saying that black people ain't got no opportunities in America, and they don't want to see black people grow. And all it just it's it's it's, it's nonsense. It, it it literally makes my blood boil thinking about it. And it's like it's like a family member. That's always complaining, and you just want to tell them, like, come here, man, let me tell you. It's really you, bro. Like, you making poor decisions, bro. And, you know, I, I feel like that's, I feel like that's, like, what tops it off. I feel like that's literally what tops it off is that everybody say protect black culture and to protect this and protect. But, bro, black culture is doing it to itself. Okay, like, seriously. I mean, look at the music we're playing. We're, we're talking about killing each other. We're talking about... All type of nonsense in our own songs that's about each other. We're not even bringing up the white man in our songs. We're just talking about each other. And then a, 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 a white man like Jason Aldean come out with a song, try that in the small town, and everybody in their mama feel like, oh, this is towards... Because I just... I, what also said just said, I just said in my last video reacting to Jason Aldean's song. You, This is how y'all... This is how y'all Im, Im, uh, imagine black people to be like. Because y'all, you see a song talking about all these different crimes, and you automatically assume that that is what it that is what a ninja would do. Th that's exactly how some of you white people are thinking. The people that the white people that's been saying, "Oh, this song is racist," even as black people, they automatically assume that he's talking about a ninja. That's what he's talking about. I need to make a video because this is racist, bro. The song was in it. It was it. It literally was a song about a small town. I don't know what a controversy was at in this song, but it was no controversy. It was nothing like that. We gonna finish these last couple minutes with uh, Officer Tatum, man. I'm, I'm gonna say my last point and then... Yo, boss, every boss you work for ain't the problem, man. It's you. You show up late every day, bro. You out here smoking weed. You got a, you got a DUI just last week, bro. That's why you don't have no opportunities. You got a bag of weed in your pocket everywhere you go. Brother, you living your life on the edge. That's why you ain't networking. You, you People that smoke, people that you want to be like ain't smoking weed, brother. You got a small mind. 
You don't want to travel. You don't want to work hard. You don't want to be an entrepreneur. You don't, you ain't, you sitting there telling me how many basketball hoops some dude then got, and you won't even do no research to get a business loan. You won't even start your own business. Brother, it's you. It's not the white man. It's not the man down the street. It's you. You the one teach self-hate to yourself every day. You the one say, I ain't never going to be oh, nothing. Man, he is it right is now. you, my brother. And this is that's how I feel about the black community. Not everybody in the black community, but the, the, the ones who are just perpetual victims. I want to pull them aside and say, brother, it ain't the man. It's you. Hold the phone. I'll be back after the break. Bro, that Officer Tatum, I swear, like, I, I love Officer Tatum. Shout out to Officer Tatum, man. But everything he just said is absolutely true. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't them, but it's you. It's you. Everybody has their own race in life. Everybody has their own life in life, if that makes sense. You have your own life. You choose what you're going to do with your life. The white man can't stop you from doing anything. Nobody can stop you from doing anything but you. You know what I'm saying? You wonder why you ain't got opportunities opportunities and things like that in life. I mean, let's look at your record. Because no matter how far you try to run from the past that you done been through, like such as like you might you might have a, a DUI on your drive uh, on your uh, record, or you might have some type of gun charge or anything like that. See these these big jobs, they look at background checks. It's not just they look at background checks on black people. No, they look at background checks on everybody. And they see that type of stuff on your record, then what was you doing when you was young? I know you was young and dumb, but come on, bro. Everybody has the type of, that's why we need fathers in the house. So that's why we need these parents to raise their kids the right way and treat and teach them the way to go in life. Because the moment you mess up and you have a, a, a small little thing on your record at a younger age, that thing was going to travel all the way up to you until you until you really get mature and you want to be like, oh, I want to I want to go into a, a a CEO of a business or this and that. Like, bro, no, like all this stuff matters. Everybody has done something in their life. When black people go to jail, it's not just because white people just take it's not because the white officers just take them to jail just because they're black. Like, no, bro, nobody's in jail just because the color of their skin. No, there's nobody in jail just because, oh, I'm black. So I've been no, it's something. What did you do? What did you do to get in jail? And the moment we start holding ourselves accountable, that's the moment we go realize that, okay, life is just, is, is what I make it. My life is what I make it. The moment we start holding ourselves accountable. What music am I listening to? What music am I putting in my ears? Seriously. The Bible tells us to guard our hearts. The reason why we got to guard our hearts is because the things that we're listening to, the things that we're just seeing all day long, it's all going into our heart. And that's what we start to act out in. The moment we have things on our heart that's negative and that's not a, that's not positive, that's when we start to act out in the flesh more than we act out in the spirit. That's why certain people are in jail. That's why certain people are this. That's why certain people are that. I'm going to go ahead and get off this video, man. I really appreciate y'all for stopping by. Uh, hey, right, look, y'all went crazy on the last video, but enough talking, man. It's been your boy, Japan. I love y'all, bro. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace. <laughs>